Hello, I'm Brandon with Cellcom, and I'm joined today here with Jeremy, one of Cellcom's IoT sensor experts. He's here to help us walk through setting up your Cellcom IoT sensors. One of the first steps in setting up your sensor network is installing a cradle point device and connecting your Cellcom IoT sensor gateway. Um, so Jeremy, I see we have uh, the cradle point device here. Um, what exactly does this device do and why are customers gonna need this in order to connect with a IoT gateway? Well, Brandon, um, you'll have the cradle point there as your cellular connection. This cradle point acts as the bridge to the outside world. All the sensor information uh, will funnel through the cradle point and be able to upload it to the cloud. Uh, with the cradle point, um, comes with some accessories that you'll need. Uh, you'll have the AC power adapter, USB port, and cellular connections. On here, you'll be able to attach the cellular antennas onto the cradle point. This is a Wi-Fi adapter this, this particular model of cradle point comes with. Um, for the Cellcom IoT sensors, um, for the cradle point device, um, can work with any cradle point uh, model that's available today. And then on the Cellcom IoT gateway, uh, for the USB here, and then also uh, the uh, 900 megahertz RF antenna. So on the RF antenna, um, you can go up to uh, 1,000 to 1,200 feet. And this, all the sensors would be away from uh, this IoT adapter. So once we have all of our, our antennas connected, um, how do we get power to these? What does that look like? So you have the USB port on here. It comes with the USB cable. Uh, something gets plugged into there. No additional power needed for the, uh, what they call the Cellcom IoT gateway. USB on the other end here, onto any of your new cradle point model that you have, that's available today. USB onto here. AC power adapter to your cradle point. And then once the cradle point is plugged in via USB, the, the Cellcom IoT gateway will be able to get its power from the cradle point uh, to be able to receive in the sensor information for the sensors out in the field. And the nice thing about um, buying a cradle point from Cellcom is with cradle points, they're what they consider a mobile broadband device. Uh, so as you can see in the front here, which we didn't talk about, but it has a LAN port. So if you're looking to also use this uh, cradle point to power a kiosk or um, there's models for internet backup for your business for failover. You can get a higher end model than this, a next step up, uh, rather than just the base model here to, that does more features that you can use for more than just for the uh, Cellcom IoT sensors. Wow, interesting. I noticed that there's some, some indicator lights on both units, the, the, the sensor gateway and as well as the cradle point. Mm -hmm. uh, would you be willing to walk us through what some of those indicators mean to the end user? Sure, Brandon. So on, uh, once again, we have the uh, AC adapter now plugged in. Um, you can see on here, on the uh, cradle point, uh, there's lights being illuminated here. Um, on the back here, there is where the SIM card slot goes. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, we left the screw that typically keeps this uh, hatch or latch uh, on the cradle point uh, closed. Uh, so uh, this being closed, SIM card on and working, uh, lights on here, uh, green power light. Uh, at the mo for Wi-Fi models, you have the Wi-Fi indicator, um, so that's illuminated. Uh, your bars uh, for reception here, so green, your online means the it's functioning, and then signal strength for your cradle point. Um, depending on where the, the cradle point is located, these will be uh, illuminated for that signal strength. If you want to see the signal strength in terms of uh, a value that's assigned to it, you can go on to the Cradle Point UI um, and then you can see that value. Uh, but these bars, very much like on your cell phone, will indicate the signal strength of, of that uh, the Cradle Point like a would a phone. Uh, so plugging in the USB adapter in here then provides the power to the Cellcom IoT gateway. And then if you look onto the uh, IoT gateway here, this light will be green that's illuminated. If you have a sensor here that's starting to send uh, data or sensor readings or data to this device. Uh, the model will, uh, the gateway here will flash that it's receiving the messages in um, and the alerts in. And then you'll know that this information is being received onto the gateway, being sent up to the cloud. And then on your device, you'll be able to receive those alerts or uh, run reports on whatever you're trying to uh, view. Very cool. 
So another question I'm sure, you know, a lot of business owners might have is, so we have our creative point, we have our, our, our IOT gateway, how many sensors can we communicate with at one time? How many different sensors could I have in, you know, let's say one, one warehouse um, that's communicating back and forth with that gateway? On the uh, Southcom IoT gateway, you can have up to 100 different types of sensors connecting this. There are over 50 different types of sensors available, ranging from uh, temperature, humidity, carbon, um, whatever you're really looking to monitor for your business, um, all, all will be compatible with the Southcom IoT gateway. Um, so with that being said, 100 sensors throughout within 1,000 to 1,200 feet of this. Uh, Cradle Point having good cell coverage. Uh, we'll be able to upload all this information to the cloud and then via mobile app, uh, text message, email, web portal to be able to receive alerts, run reports on whatever that you're trying to monitor for your business. Excellent. Thank you for joining us today uh, for our instructional video on setting up the Cradle Point device and connecting your Cellcom IoT sensor gateway. We are joined today by our expert, Jeremy Huck. I want to give a special thanks to, to, to Jeremy for showing us how to use these awesome products. Uh, and be sure to check out below this video, we have additional links to our Cellcom YouTube channel where you can get tons more information on Cellcom IoT products, how to install them, how they'll work, and how they'll benefit you.